It all began in October 1926. Little nine-year-old me was standing in front of a newsstand, and a magazine called Amazing Stories jumped off the newsstand, grabbed hold of me, and I imagine all the viewers are, are too young to know, but in those days, magazines spoke. And this one said, take me home, little boy, you will love me. Three years later, my mother was quite concerned, said, son, do you realize how many of these magazines you have? I just counted them. Well, you have 27. Can you imagine, by the time you're a grown man, you might have 100. Well, how come there was never a point where you were satiated and said, I, you know, I got enough stuff? Well, you know, as I look back on it after 70 years, uh, I think it was, I was originally sort of like a man dying of thirst in a hellishly hot desert, and every little drop of water, you know, was precious. Uh, we, we didn't have a, a, a surfeit of, of science fiction in those days. Nowadays, you know, you were just overwhelmed with pocketbooks and books and and uh, magazines and artwork and movies but but then every every little scrap of science fiction was precious to me so i i preserved it and i just have this insatiable appetite and some of it you're wearing well yes uh, what do you have on Bela today? lugosi wore this uh, ring in dracula this is carnelian with a silver overlay and you see a bat there and a capital d that's for dracula Bela lugosi wore this it has also been on the the finger of Bela of uh, Boris Karloff and uh, Lon Chaney Jr., John Carradine, uh, Vincent Price, and uh, this ring, Imhotep, 3,700 years dead in the ancient sands of Egypt, came to life in the person of Boris Karloff in a film called The Mummy. So this scarab was what was upon that desiccated finger of the living mummy. And the spider? Uh, the spider, this is something brand new. When uh, Lon Chaney, the man of a thousand faces, uh, was reigning in during the uh, days of the silent screen, they often said, oh, don't step on it. It, it might be Lon Chaney. So they've made a, uh, a spider ring, and uh, it opens up, and there's a nice little photograph of Lon Chaney inside, and just tiniest little speck of, uh, of makeup that he once wore. Somebody said to you, you can only bring one thing of all that you have into the next world. What would that be? I think it could be a story, but... Well, I, I suppose uh, we could put it into a time capsule, that magazine that, that set my feet on the path to the stars, you know, that very October 1926 amazing stories. If I hadn't been attracted to that, well, goodness knows what I'd be today. <laughs>